I went to my doctor's office, a good doctor, she was my primary care physician, and I had her confirm that I was pregnant. I mean, we already knew that because we practiced natural family planning, but I went and had her confirm it for insurance purposes, and instead of congratulating me, she said, you ought to consider termination. I'm like, what? And she said, yeah, we have to, uh, you should consider termination. I mean, you're over 40, blah, blah, blah. And I was thinking, gosh, what about the woman that comes in who isn't like me? I'm educated, I'm married, I had money, I had insurance, and most importantly, I had Jesus Christ. Amen. What about the women that come in there that don't have any one of those things? We could send you over the edge. And I also thought, God, you also are so funny because you know I'm going to testify in here and tell her why I won't. And so we were in there going at it. She was just giving up all the scenarios, and I was just right back at her, like, uh-uh, I -uh, don't care what you say, I'm having this baby. And she was coming up with, what if the child has this? And I was like, and? And it was just amazing how relentless she was. So finally, she just came up with all the scenarios, and I finally said to her, I said, doctor, I don't care if I give birth to an eyeball with a piece of hair. I'm going to put a blue ribbon on it one day and call it my son, and a pink ribbon on it the next day and call it my girl. And she looked at me, and I could just see in her eyes, and she was like, she's a zealot. <laughs> but here's the interesting thing. She never once asked about my husband until the husband feel exactly the same way as you, especially if you, you know, if you're having a high chance of having a child with some problems. Does your husband feel the same way? And I was like, wow, this is the only time a man is supposed to have a voice, right? So I said to her, I said, the doctor, let me tell you, you don't want me to bring my husband in here and tell him that you want to kill his firstborn. She's okay, see you next time. I want to show you my daughter. Because I took her back to that doctor when she was three months old and let her see what she was going to rob me of. Lourdes, come here. Come to mommy. So this is why we fight. And I took this girl back to the doctor for her to see that she is not the author of life. And you know what the doctor said to me? She said, oh my gosh, she's beautiful. I said, more importantly, she's a child of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs>